We've tended to take trees for granted in the UK. They just quietly get on and do their thing in the background. And we haven't tended to worry too much about their health. So far, they've been very resilient. But in recent years, we've seen a growing number of pests and diseases coming into the UK, and they're causing devastation in, in all sorts of different tree species. It's something that the government is now very concerned about and something which scientists are now very concerned about. And we really need to develop ways of finding resistance to foreign pests and diseases in uh, our native trees so that they can actually have a future. We think that a long-term solution to the problem of ash dieback is to breed ash trees which have resistance to the fungus. What we'd like to do is breed ash trees from our native populations that have resistance. And to do that quickly, we need to discover what genes in the genome actually are, are, are and can confer resistance to our ash trees. And the starting point of that is uh, an ash genome sequence. What we're doing here at Queen Mary is sequencing the genome of a single British ash tree. We've nearly finished this project. And what this will do is provide a reference sequence for all other research being done on ash trees. And what we're looking to do in the future is to look at many other ash species, some of which have resistance, natural resistance to ash dieback, and try and work out why they have that resistance. Before we start to take a GM route, we do need to explore the more traditional breeding methods that might help us to generate trees with low susceptibility to ash, ash dieback. And I think it's an area where we would really need some public consultation. There's no point really in us generating a tree that's genetically modified with resistance to ash dieback that the public doesn't want planted in our woods.